With the successful launch of the M4 chip inside the likes of the iPad Pro, does this mean that WWDC 2024 will be seeing the M4 Ultra inside of the Mac Studio? Now, funny enough, Apple is one of the only companies out there that kind of introduced their baseline sort of processors or chipsets first of all, and then introduce their more powerful ones later on. Whereas the likes of say Intel, AMD and Nvidia, they kind of take the opposite approach here. What they like to do is they like to show you the most powerful device first of all, then bring out the mid range and then bring out the base range models after that. And with that, it could be the first time that Apple have taken note of this and that they may bring out the M4 Ultra potentially at WWDC 2024. And let's find out today if this is going to be a reality. Well, funny enough, we did actually get a report here from Mark Gurman. And as you can see right here, he even said that Apple are looking to skip over the M3 Ultra in some of their high-end desktops this time round, and that there wouldn't be an M3 Ultra coming out whatsoever. Now, obviously, since that report was written, Mark also then reported that M4 was going to be inside the iPad Pros, and he was absolutely right. But maybe this is kind of a coded leak now. We could look at this, that Mark was looking for M3 Ultra kind of information, but didn't realize that there was M4 Ultra information instead there. And this is why his supply have come back or his reporters or whoever he gets his leaks from told him that you know there is no m3 ultra because no there wouldn't be now it makes no sense for apple to release an m3 ultra if they've just started their m4 journey here why would they do that it makes absolutely no sense to put m3 ultra out now as if you've got m4 starting its journey separately as well so no i don't personally believe this is going to be apple at all that they are going to be putting in any kind of m3 max or m3 ultra or creating an m3 Ultra to be put inside the Mac Studio or the Mac Pro this summer. But like I said, does this mean we could see the M4 Ultra instead? And maybe could we even see the M4 and the M4 Pro go inside the Mac Mini? Because at the end of the day, the Mac Mini hasn't been updated now in about 18 months by the time WWDC happens. So could we actually see an update there too? And I'm afraid to say it doesn't look like that there is going to be any kind of M4 Ultra or M4 or M4 Pro going inside the Mac Mini at WWDC 2024. And let me explain the reason why behind this right after I tell you about the channel giveaway that we're doing right now. What is for this? This here is a MacBook Pro. And this has an M3 inside of it, still good M3. And inside of this one, we actually have 16 gigabytes of RAM. We don't actually have, it's getting a bit heavy there. It doesn't actually have eight gigabytes of RAM. It's got 16 gigabytes of RAM. And it's also got 512 gigabytes of storage in this 14 inch model. And I'm gonna be giving it away to one lucky subscriber on this channel. And all you have to do to enter in on this channel is just put down in the comments of what kind of technology or Apple gear you're planning to get in 2024. But make sure you're a subscriber too, because what I will be doing is I'll be checking to see whoever you know who's left a comment down below that you are eligible to get your hands possibly on this MacBook Pro. So make sure you do that. And if you do want to know when the announcement's going to be, it's going to be at the end of June time. So like I said, make sure right now that you do subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell, because what I'll be doing is I'll I'll be picking that one lucky subscriber around that sort of time and there will also be a form just to fill in and things like that but we will be doing a live stream for the giveaway of this MacBook Pro and you won't want to miss out on that and what I'll also say to you guys as well is sadly there are still lots of scammers and scammers and bammers you know you know they're just terrible out there lots of people impersonating me telling you to whatsapp them to telegram them and you know communicate in different ways smoke signals I don't know but the main thing is is that that they're trying to get money off you, telling you to pay for postage and things like this. This is not me at all. So make sure what I would say to you is please do ignore them or better still, as you can see right here, please do report them. So like I said before, guys, there is the possibility that we may not see at all any new desktop max at WWDC 2024 of any kind. And the earliest we may actually see them, well, for the Mac Mini, it might be the end of this year 
and for the Mac Studio and the Mac Pro, it might not be till summer 2025. And let me explain why. We've had this roadmap here from Mark Gurman telling us about when all the expected M4 Macs are coming. And you can see now it lasts until summer 2025. And looking right here, you can see that a Mac Mini will be coming at the end of 2024 and even in 2025. And to be honest, by that time, you know, the Mac Mini would have been two years old by this point. It will still be rocking an M2 and M2 Pro inside of it. And then it's the same for the Mac Studio and the Mac Pro that we may not see a high-end chip inside the Mac Studio until WWDC, the summer, or we may even see it later on in the likes of the Mac Pro. And that is totally crazy to think about that. This would mean just very similar to like the Mac Mini now, could be happening if we do get an update to that many at the end of this year or the beginning of 2025 it'll be two years it'd be the same story for the mac studio and also the mac pro there'd be no updates for two years what you know is not the best news to be honest but then having said that you know the last mac pro it took them three and a half years to upgrade it from intel to get it to m2 ultra so you know can't be the worst story i guess but you know if you've got your heart set on getting yourself a mac studio with an m4 ultra um, now because obviously the m3 ultra doesn't look like it's going to even come at all it probably not even come this year. It looks like it's gonna be coming next year. So what I would say, if you are desperate to get that kind of power, the M2 Ultra is still brilliant today. Or even getting yourself a MacBook Pro now with M3 Max is still great today if you need to do that upgrade. But like I said, if you do need to hang out and you really need that ultra new performance, then I'm afraid it looks like it is going to be next year. So in summary, I think we can see where we're going with this. It doesn't look like we're going to be getting any kind of desktop max at WWDC 2024 unless we get new leaks and reports coming in before that time. But as you can see, and as I shared with you, there's nothing really to share that anything is coming this summer. So it means most likely there isn't going to be any updates or any upgrades there. What is really disappointing news to hear, sadly. But with that though, guys, what are your thoughts on this? Are you disappointed that you're going to have to wait out to next year? Or do you think it will be worth it based on the kind of benchmarks we've just seen with the initial M4 for the iPad Pros? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And with that as well, guys, if you've enjoyed watching this video please do press the like button also you want to hear the latest apple news reviews and comparisons also please make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell too until next time guys i'll see you really soon take care bye bye